In the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains, the wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. The four companions, having left the king's palace behind them, soon came to a bleak mountainous region where the wind blew round a wall of stone that seemed to touch the sky. This was the region of Cloudy Peak. In all their travels, they had not yet passed through such forbidding country. <laughs> Can we find an easier and safer road than this one? Why, Pigsy, if I didn't know better, I'd swear that chattering sound was your teeth. No teeth of mine have ever chattered, and if you think I'm afraid, you're wrong. Then why don't you go ahead and scout the road for monsters? I'm probably the only one of us brave enough to confront the unknown. I think it would be an excellent idea if Pigsy were to take on that responsibility. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cloudy Peak looked like the home of monsters, and it was. Even as Pigsy spoke, the evil red gnome arrived at a cave on the summit of Cloudy Peak that he shared with his equally evil brother, the blue gnome. So, did you bring your little drawing expedition to a close? Yes, but don't fall over yourself with eagerness to see him. <clears throat> Sorry. I went to a lot of trouble to make these portraits of those travelers, and some appreciation is in order. You're lucky I even deigned to show them to you. At any rate, here they are, all four of them. And I plan to capture them before they go much further. Which one can make us immortal? At first I thought it was one of these two, but now I believe it's this one. There are four of them, so we'll need to send our warriors. Call them. No warriors, step forward! Uh -uh. How, How might we be of service? service? Let's go capture that monk and his companions. Yes, yes, Master. The evil gnomes, sure that Tripitaka knew the secrets of immortality, set off to capture the four innocent travelers. Scary looking place, but there are no monsters. Poor fellows don't know what they're missing. This place looks like it was made for monsters. <laughs> Unfortunately for Pixie, the blue gnome and his henchmen had spotted him as he rounded the last bend of this scary road. Hmm. Well. Huh. Nice try, monkey, but you're not such a master of disguise that that snubby little nose and sashaying walk don't give you away. I wasn't born yesterday. He thinks I look like this? Probably at the best of times, but this is beyond the call of duty, old friend, especially that forehead. <laughs> Show him the drawings. That should be shaking up. Oh, his own hideous mug and he'll lose his lunch. Goodness, will you look at that? Someone captured us on paper. But you know, whoever drew this made me way too fat. But at least you look better than you do now. <laughs> Move it! Drop him! <laughs> well, we've got one, not the main one, but it's a start. We'll have them all in no time if they're as easy to catch as this one was. Once my friend Monkey hears about what you're up to, you're gonna have real trouble on your hands. Has your leader made you immortal? You won't get any information out of me, so save your bad breath. Warriors, take the prisoner away. He'll soon change his mind. <laughs> All the same, we better be on our guard against this Monkey character. He's a pipsqueak. Don't give him another thought. <laughs> Meanwhile, the three remaining companions were worried about Pigsy's failure to return. Your impatience won't make him come any quicker. Come down, monkey, and wait with us. <clears throat> Master, rather than waiting here, I think the best way to find Pigsy is to travel along the road that he left on. 
but the blue gnome and his warriors were already on the lookout, waiting for the travelers to follow Pigsy's path. Oh, ha ha, there they are! Huh? Now they're in for it. But in order to capture the already suspicious pilgrims, the blue gnome needed to disguise himself. <laughs> Following the path that Pixie had traveled, Chipitaka, Monkey, and Sandy made their way through the woods. I am so tired. So many miles have I traveled on these weary legs. We shall help you. Try and stand up. Oh, good monk. I can no longer stand or walk, for I have come through these mountains on foot and am worn out. Do not worry, my friend. Monkey will be happy to carry you. Sure. Hop up onto my back. Be gentle, monkey. Keep a nice slow pace. Right. Easy does it. Call that slow? <laughs> You're going to wear yourself out. It's true. You must be getting awfully tired. Not at all. I'm just starting to get warmed up. But Monkey was not as naive as he appeared to be. Must we stop here? Be quiet. You're not fooling anyone, old man. I know precisely who you are. <laughs> here goes. Monkey knew that a sudden drop of several thousand feet would call the Blue Gnome's bluff. Sure enough, Monkey was right. Now the gnome realized that he was up against a great power and that he needed to cast a spell quickly. Stop him, Mountain. Huh? Ah! Ah! Monkey lay trapped under the weight of a mountain and it seemed as if the blue gnome had beaten his mightiest adversary. Get this thing off of me right now! Whatever you're up to, you're not going to get away with it! And now, only Tripitaka and Sandy remained. And they were more vulnerable than ever without Monkey there beside them. Whoa! The evil blue gnome cast a spell and sent a giant cloud to bear down upon them. The travelers tried to fight it. It was hopeless. The blue gnome had won. No! Have a look at what I picked up on the road. Finally, we got them. <sighs> huh? Where's the monkey? Don't worry about him. He's lying trapped under a mountain. He's bound to escape. We must think of something better. I have. Don't worry. The blue gnome was sure he knew how to stop the mighty monkey. From their hiding place, he produced a magic calabash and a jade bottle. Warrior, step forward. Yes, Master. What would you have us do? Go to the monkey. <clears throat> Take these with you and use them as you have been taught. And warriors, do not fail me. Your wish is our command. Still imprisoned under the mountain, Monkey struggled to be free. <clears throat> Spirit of the mountain, show yourself! <clears throat> I hope you're not counting on me to help you. You have to. My friends are in danger. Free me. I wish I could, but I'm under orders from the Blue Gnome to crush you. Don't tell me you're afraid of that little weakling. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm just doing my job. If you're so brave, get this thing off of me. Nothing doing. Yeah. Oh, hey, what do you think you're doing? Let me go. First move the mountain, then I will. All right, all right. I've got to follow him. Monkey flew off in the same direction as the blue gnome. All the while, he kept a vigilant eye on the ground below. Huh? Suddenly, he spied a suspicious red glow on the road. Monkey knew this could only mean trouble. There are two people approaching, and I bet they work for the blue gnome. <clears throat> <laughs> the blue gnome's warriors were about to stumble upon a strange wizard. Who are you? I am the ancient wizard of the mountains. If you're a wizard, let's see what kind of tricks you can do. Here's one you'll like. <gasps> we can't be too careful because we're searching these roads for a most dangerous monkey. Too bad. I was looking for assistant wizards. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All the best ones are already taken. Hey, wait! Forget the monkey. We'd love to be your assistants. <laughs> Take us on, please. Okay, wizard. 
I might consider it if you've something to give me in return. Something to rival my golden calabash. Ah, what can your golden calabash do? Huh? Tell us. My golden calabash is able to swallow up the sky. I'd be more than pleased to demonstrate its power. Ah, ah. Keep your eye on the sky. Huh? The golden calabash will move the heavens. When's it gonna start? They look the same to me. The golden calabash will begin when it's ready. If you're a wizard, it should do what you tell it to. Calabash, they're getting impatient. Swallow the sky up home. The golden calabash flew up into the heavens and swallowed up first the clouds and then finally every last speck of light from the sky. Oh, great wizard, you've gone too far. The calabash ate the sun. Uh, what has been done uh, can be undone. How does it work? Is there some kind of genie inside? <laughs> it's the monkey! You've caught the very villain we've been sent out to find! We'll trade you anything you want for that calabash, wizard! I very much doubt you would have anything of enough value to possibly induce me to make a trade. Why, the treasures we're carrying possess extraordinary powers! When you call someone's name while you're holding this and he answers, he goes inside it. <sighs> All right, I shall make the trade with you. Yeah. Once again, Monkey had used its enemy's greed against them. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh great one. Thank you so much. And so Monkey fooled the gnomes warriors and saved himself. <laughs> Changing his form, he was confident that he could rescue his companions and then continue on their journey to the West. The evil red and blue gnomes had taken Tripitaka, Pigsy, and Sandy prisoner. They were sure that Tripitaka could be forced to make them immortal. Our only hope is that Monkey hasn't been captured and that he's on his way to rescue us. I'm sure he is. Master! Huh? Master! Master, we captured him! Hmm? Then how is it I don't see him? He's imprisoned inside this golden calabash that was given to us by the ancient wizard of the it's mountain. It's able to eat up the whole sky. Where are my treasures? We, we traded, traded them. them. I want to see the monkey right now. If anyone was more anxious to see the golden calabash in action than the blue gnome, it was a certain little fly. Golden calabash work your wonders! <laughs> They've traded our treasures for worthless junk! And to think I put my trust in the two of you! Forgive us, Master! Forgive us! We must call for help to defeat this monkey! I know, and I know who we must call on! The Bamboo Witch! I'll give you fools one more chance. Succeed at this task and you'll be redeemed. Otherwise, it's into the dungeon with you. Now go out and find the bamboo witch and bring her here to me. Yes, yes master. master! And so, the gnome warriors set off in the direction of the bamboo witch's cave, anxious to get back into the master's good graces, and completely unaware that someone was keeping a very close eye on them. It was a long trek indeed, for the bamboo which lived in a cave deep in the forest. The gnome warriors were successful in convincing the bamboo witch to return with them to their master's home, but only if they would carry her. Why are you stopping? Heavy load? I can make it light as air. <laughs> Using the magic powers once given to him by the goddess Quan Yin, Monkey had only to pluck a few magic hairs from his head to create two perfect copies of the gnome warriors. Then he turned himself into the witch. <laughs> Why have we stopped? Move on! And so the procession continued. I hear you have prisoners. Yes, come see. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's one missing. It's true, the monkey is temporarily still at large. <laughs> well, we'll see what we can do about that. My 
friend Monkey can defeat a thousand like you with his eyes closed and his hands tied behind his back. Impudent pig! No, no, you mustn't let him upset you. Think what a tasty supper he'll make. Oh, I wouldn't dream of making a meal out of him. He'd give me heartburn. <laughs> <sighs> Let's cut him down. <laughs> Just because I'm big boned doesn't mean you can disrespect me. Enough out of you. Not yet. Huh? We've many huh? things to discuss before we can even <clears throat> think about <clears throat> feasting. But the pig's not going anywhere, is he? Huh? Once again, Monkey had come through for his friends. <laughs> What's so funny? That's no witch. That's our friend Monkey. Then there's hope for us after all. I told you there would be. Well then? We need you, because your wisdom can guide us in defeating this monkey. I'd rather talk about how to defeat you. Huh? Ah! Ah! Too late, the evil gnomes realized who the witch really was. It's me! Surprise! <laughs> it was a great disguise. Don't feel too bad. <laughs> Stop him! Where are my two warriors? <laughs> no! Don't go after them. You can't defeat them on your own. I have a weapon that'll do the trick. The blue gnome swooped out of his cave in hot pursuit of Monkey. Show yourself! Are you afraid? Afraid? Never, my friend! <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? I challenge you to fight if you dare! I'm in a bit of a rush, but I guess I've got time. Ha! I'll teach you to be cocky! <laughs> Monkey was a valiant warrior, but the blue gnome had a nasty trick up his sleeve. A magic rope from which Monkey could not escape. And so Monkey was now imprisoned, along with his companions. So, Monkey, he managed to get you too, huh? Don't worry, I'll find a way out of this one. Oh, it's not looking good since they got their bottle and calabash back. Magic Staff, it's up to you now. <gasps> Drink up now. Master, Master, the Monkey's twin brother is at the gate. <laughs> He demands the immediate release of the pilgrims. He does. Well, he'll have to deal with us first, won't he? Ha <laughs> ha! He will indeed. And our magic calabash. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Monkey's brother. I demand you release the four pilgrims you're holding prisoner. <sighs> you want them set free? Then answer when I call your name. All right, I'll play along. The name's Monkey, like my brother. Monkey! Monkey! Yes, here I am. <sighs> and with that, Monkey was sucked into the Blue Gnome's magic calabash. So now we have not only the monkey, but his upstart twin brother as well. <laughs> When's he gonna settle down? Ah, I'm melting! There's very little left of me! <sighs> Well, I'd like to see that. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Don't open it, brother. It might be a trick. He can't get out. But the blue gnome had underestimated Monkey's magic powers. Huh? What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe he really is disappearing into thin air. Wouldn't that be nice? The red gnome peered inside the calabash, and it did appear that all that was left of Monkey were his head and shoulders. It's true. He is disappearing. The magic calabash is more effective than I thought. This is terrible. Monkey's in serious trouble. He knows what he's doing. No need to worry. Hey! It's me, Pigsy. I want you to swing back and forth as hard as you can. Uh-huh. What was that? Hey, quickly! What? what kind of idiots would hang a portly fellow like me from the ceiling? I could have told you it wouldn't work. Nobody calls the Gnome Brothers idiots. While Pigsy created a diversion, Monkey made straight for the magic calabash and replaced it with a fake. Master? Huh? There's yet another brother of that monkey banging on the outer gate. This is getting out of hand. How many brothers does he have? We've got to find a way to put a stop to this once and for all. Take it easy. There's room enough in my magic calabash for a thousand melting monkey brothers. 
You there! Prove you're one of the Monkey Brothers by answering when I call your name out! But Clever Monkey was ready to turn the tables this time. All right, but only if you will, too! I don't have to answer anything to anyone! After all, I'm the one holding the magic calabash, not you! <laughs> Everyone's got a magic calabash these days! <laughs> Although, some of them are fakes! But... And some are real! Huh? Oh, I've got the real one! Yours is a fake! Hmm... Let's see you prove it, then. You're on dangerous ground! I'm not playing! Naturally! My calabash is the real one and yours is a fraud! Then you needn't fear a thing. Monkey, is that you? Mm-hmm. Huh? Is that you, Monkey? Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'd give that calabash a good shake if I were you. <gasps> now, I'll skip my turn if you'll set the prisoners free. <gasps> Call my name! I'm not afraid of you! Don't forget to answer! Hey, Blue Gnome! <laughs> yes, I'm the Blue Gnome! No sooner had he answered than the true calabash began to work its magic. <laughs> My brother's capture won't go unavenged! The Red Gnome flew off to find Monkey and defeat him once and for all. But Monkey found him first. <gasps> However, the Red Gnome was no coward and turned to give battle. But he was no match for Monkey. Huh? There was nothing to do but run. How about it? Shall I call your name? The Red Gnome knew he was beaten and that his plans for achieving immortality for himself and his brother had failed. But Monkey wasn't his only problem. Huh? The Sage of the Mountains is coming to turn you back into your true form! Where's that pesky servant of mine? Huh? Here I am, oh great sage. And where's your brother? He's tucked safely away inside this magic calabash. Since he's my servant, perhaps I should set him free. <laughs> of course. Great sage, do the honors. Thank you. <laughs> and where are my treasures? Don't look at me. I haven't seen any of them. Huh? <laughs> gotcha, Pigsy! <laughs> hmm? Hey, come back here! Oh, well, <laughs> that's as it should be. You surely belong with your rightful owner. Justice has been served. With these two back with me, your life will be easier. <laughs> and so, the Sage of the Mountain returned to his heavenly realm with his two naughty servants, and the prisoners of Cloudy Peak were free to continue their journey to the west.